Now, after days of waiting, city inspectors may finally get inside R. Kelly's West Side recording studio today. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live outside the warehouse to explain why. Mike? Hi, and we actually have some breaking news to report because in about the last hour or so, we saw a man walk out of R. Kelly's West Side recording studio, which you see behind me right now. We were scrambling to get video, so it's a bit shaky, but this man walked out with a computer tower and a couple of boxes on a dolly. I asked him if he was the landlord. He ignored that question. I then asked if he worked for R. Kelly. He also ignored that question. He then loaded the equipment into the trunk of a car and drove away. While we saw it, sources say police also observed the removal of the equipment as they have 24-hour surveillance on the building as we speak. Now, this all happened on the same day. We expect to see those city inspectors that you alluded to earlier arriving here on the near west side to get inside the building. That's because the building is zoned for commercial use only, but the city has received complaints that people might be living inside. Those people, according to published reports in a Lifetime documentary series, could be young women who are part of what has been described as a sex cult surrounding R. Kelly. That as the landlord is attempting to evict the singer for failing to pay up to $80,000 in back rent. R. Kelly held a birthday party in the facility last week. When he turned 52, our Vince Girasoli attempted to talk with some of the young attendees but was prevented from doing so by security. Faith Rogers appeared in that Lifetime documentary and says R. Kelly gave her a sexually transmitted disease. She also says he tried to intimidate her so she wouldn't go public with her allegations. No woman should be victim shamed, harassed, or retaliated against because she assured her rights and spoke her truth. Now, R. Kelly's attorney calls that Lifetime series trash TV. He also says all of the allegations made in it are utterly baseless.